Hello. All right. So I wanted to read this card. This is this came out yesterday. Soul retrieval. And I felt this strongly within my own soul last night. Uh, it says deep soul healing with the goddess and retrieving energy. Okay, Re retrieving your own energy back. All right, so let's read soul retrieval. Isis, healing goddess now offers you spiritual restoration and deep soul healing. Through the art of soul retrieval, reclaiming pieces of you lost through trauma, old and new. Soon you'll enjoy greater wellness, energy, and power, as well as the opening of gifts and soul abilities you did not know you had. Did you know that pieces of you can be trapped in the past in traumatic experiences and relationships, even those long since gone, because part of your power remains within another? This can happen because of permission subconsciously given for them to hold a piece of your spirit. Then the time comes for, for such permission, permissions to be revoked and the pieces of self to be reclaimed and restored to the soul. Master healer and goddess of deep soul restoration, the Lady Isis now guides you to make peace with the past and reclaim the lost pieces of your own soul. The time has come for you to take yourself entirely into your own possession, to call back your soul from trauma in this lifetime and others, to give yourself back to yourself wholly and completely. In doing so, your life will flourish and fused with greater energy into beautiful new expression. Isis calls the soul back into wholeness again. Her passion, determination, and unfailing love for her beloved Osiris restored him from a dismembered, distorted, and fractured self into a whole divine masculine being once more. The Oracle of Soul Retrieval guides you to forgive and reclaim your own power and energy in totality now, even if the trapped energy is so unconscious that you do not even know that you are a missing part of yourself. Searching for any inner places that feel incomplete or draining is a way to commence the process of soul retrieval. Forgiveness can be a good way to place the work more consciously, to begin the work more consciously. This is hard spiritual work sometimes because we, can, we want to be right or justified in what we feel or perceive, and we don't want to be harmed again by allowing inappropriate behavior. In the action of forgiveness, you're simply reclaiming your energy from the situation, person, or experience so that it is at your disposal instead of being trapped in their energy field. What is most likely to occur is that the person, place, or situation will simply fall away from your life and be released. You will not be opening yourself up to attack. You will be wiser and stronger for your forgiveness and the ability that forgiveness gives you to reclaim your spirit. You will have more energy and with no further effort, you will actually move on, just, not just in mind or body, but in spirit. This oracle also indicates you have healing ability, that you are capable of channeling soul energy to help others forgive and reclaim their spirit too. The more you base your work in unconditional love, which is the true nature of the soul, the more powerful your work will become for yourself and for others in service. Your healing gift is quite deep, and if you're interested in working in a healing capacity with others, and this card serves as confirmation for you. The Oracle of Soul Retrieval also brings a special message for healers. Sometimes in your deep work with others, your desire to be of service can drain you if you are not carefully cleansing your energy field. If you have pulled this card together with the Pyramid of Light or Pillar of Light, I did talk about the Pillar of Light yesterday, so then you are encouraged to do swift and thorough psychic and spiritual cleansing each evening and morning for the next several weeks until you feel more of yourself again. You will notice the thoughts and feelings of others becoming less intrusive. This is unconditionally loving. Your clients will gain more strength in learning to feed their own energy field rather than feeding off yours. Yeah, so this is a time to be be very conscious of, you know, that, that energy of psychic vampires, vampire energy, just wanting to take and take and take your energy. So... Yeah, and feeding off yours, and you will gain more strength in this process too. It can be hard work to change patterns of, of professional and energetic dependency, but it is worth the effort so that you do not become drained and unable to continue your path as a healer. This guidance applies equally to those that are not formal healers, but tend to attract those seeking guidance. So it has a soul retrieval healing that goes with it. The incantation to the goddess of deep soul healing. Let's read it. 
Isis with love, unconditional and strong. Help me rise above right and wrong. To forgive, release, and make myself whole. To retrieve lost pieces of my soul. Restore the inner light grid of gold. Free me from trauma new and old. Isis with love, unconditional and strong. Help me be whole now and finally move on. You know what the next card is? Spirit of Isis, triumph. Triumph. So you'll be triumphant. All right. I think that I mainly just wanted to read that that card for, for you guys. And that's it. But definitely, you know, this is very important part of your soul's journey. So hope that helped. Thanks. Bye.